Now, I ain't one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speak. Now, this story really touches my heart and it hurts, especially when young kids are involved. Now, former Playboy model Stephanie Adams leaped to her death along with her seven-year-old son, Vincent, off the 25th floor of the Gotham Hotel in New York City. Stephanie, who was 47, was in the midst of a custody battle with her former husband. Now, Adams, who had a history of domestic violence with her former husband, stated previously that her son was around during the disputes, and there was an active case with the Administration of Children's Services for the past seven months. Now, her ex-husband, Charles Nikolai, who owns a Wall Street chiropractic office, requested through his attorney that Stephanie turn over their son's passport as Stephanie wanted to take their son to Europe over the summer. So Stephanie had a boyfriend that lived in Spain but owned a house in London. Well, of course, Charles didn't like the fact that his son was going to visit for the summer. So this past Wednesday, they had a court hearing and the judge ordered that Stephanie turn over her son's passport. Now, just to let you know, the co-parenting relationship between Charles and Stephanie was so violent that Stephanie would meet Charles for visitation for their son at the first precinct in Tribeca. Now, Stephanie had her own apartment in Lower Manhattan, so it's unclear why she checked into the Gotham Hotel. They checked in last night at 6 p.m. and they were assigned a room on the 25th floor. Now, investigators went to the hotel at 8 o'clock a.m. this morning after two loud noises were heard. The bodies of both Stephanie and her seven-year-old son, Vincent, were found on the second floor. Now, it's unclear if a suicide note was left, but it's very sad that this happened to her son, and Vincent's life was cut so short by the actions of his mother. Now, Stephanie was the first lesbian Playboy magazine centerfold in 2003, but later married an investment banker for two years before getting married to Nikolai in 2009. Now, she's written over 25 New Age self-help books, ran an online organic beauty company, and used to manage finances at Nikolai's chiropractic office. She also was awarded a $1.2 million lawsuit against the NYPD involving being thrown out of a car and falsely being accused of pulling a gun out on a cop. They just pulled my hair, they yanked my hair, they shoved me to the ground um, in the street, and I closed my eyes and started crying. I didn't know what was going on. Now, doing a little bit more investigation on the case, the NYPD answered five domestic calls involving the couple between July 2017 and March 2018. Now, there was also an order of protection, but it's unclear which spouse actually asked for it. Also, last September, Adams charged her husband with knowingly feeding Vincent some food that will produce an allergic reaction. She also tweeted on March 20th, the only person who should ever be ashamed in a domestic abuse incident is the abuser. Stand tall and stay strong. Hashtag no excuse for abuse. Well, we don't know everything she was going through, but it does seem like she was going through a lot. Needless to say, she definitely was not trying to leave her son here with him. So in the meantime, in between time, what I need you guys to do is leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this entire crazy situation, and let's talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.